Dr. Kimball here. I'm gonna spend a little bit of time going over with you, educating you on how to read an MRI scan of your neck or your low back. So if you're having back or neck problems, at some point, you're probably gonna end up with an MRI scan. They're gonna send you a disc. If you don't get the disc, definitely get it before you leave the imaging center or the hospital. Otherwise, you're gonna to have to go back. Most of the time, your doctor will be able to pull up the images if it's in the same city. If you wanna take it anywhere else to get a second opinion, and I offer second opinions, so I'm happy to look at yours, uh, you'll wanna get a copy of that disc, otherwise you're not gonna be able to share those films. Sometimes you can have a hard time looking at the films in your own house and, and getting it pulled up on a CD. To be honest, most computers these days don't even include CD drives, so maybe you can get it on a USB. But you may find the same uh, frustration that a lot of my patients have expressed is, I don't know how to pull this up. I don't know what I'm looking at. It could be very complicated. It could make you feel really stupid. But um, I'm gonna try to give you just a couple tools to help you understand what you're looking at. Now, I'm gonna go through on a screen share in just a minute um, some of the basics of reading an MRI scan. And even if you can't read that on your own, at least when you sit down with a spine surgeon, you can have a little bit better education and a little bit better understanding of the anatomy and what you're looking at. So, first thing I want to uh, walk you through, and we'll just, I've got this little model of a, of a lumbar uh, scan, uh, excuse me, a lumbar model. So there's a couple different views of the spine. One is the side profile or a sagittal view. So when you look at a sagittal view, you're looking at the side of the spine. This is the back. These are those things that you feel, those spines in the middle of your, your back, and this is the disc, and this is the front of your spine, okay? So when you're looking at a side view of the spine, we call that a sagittal view. So you're not gonna see a three-dimensional figure like this. The, the sagittal view is gonna be a slice down the side, take away half, and then you're looking at the spine. You can see a lot of really cool stuff that way. You can see disc bulges pushing out this way. You can see uh, fractures, you can see tears, you can see lots of stuff. The other really important view is an axial view, or AX, that's what it's gonna show up as. The other one, the sagittal, is gonna show up as a SAG view. So there are axial views and sagittal views. Those are kind of the most two common and, and important ones for you to understand. So an axial view is a slice through the spine like this, okay? And so when you look at an axial view, you're gonna be looking at, at this view, just a slice like that. You'll be looking down the barrel of the spine. Now, MRI scans are tricky. When you read an MRI scan, everything is opposite side of what you're looking at. So what you would be looking at, if you're looking straight at the uh, MRI scan, you're looking at a patient with their head this way, their feet facing you, okay? And the right is over here, which is now your left, and their left is over here. So that's what you have to realize when you're looking at. The left and the right are flipped. The back is up, the disc is down. So that's axial and sagittal. There are two other views or two other windows that I'll call, uh, call them that you need to be aware of. One is the T1 series, the other is the T2 series. And they um, help us as neuroradiologists to see different kinds of fluid, different kinds of tissue. I'm gonna have you focus on the T2 sequence. The T1, we could get into that later, but the basics, understanding and being able to read an axial T2 and a sagittal T2 is really the most important. The last thing I wanna comment on right now is when we pull up the films, it's really important for us to be able to use the localizer feature. So we'll have a sagittal view on one screen and then the other, other screen, hopefully the other half of the picture we're gonna be showing the axial view, this view. But we wanna be able to see what level we're at in the spine. And we can pull up a sagittal view and there'll be a little line that will move up and down and that will correlate to what level on the axial view that we're looking at. So that's just a brief primer. I'm gonna go through some screen shares and walk you through an actual example of a patient. And, I'm, and if you've looked at some of my other uh, cases, you'll, this will help you to kind of better digest how I approach patients and how I, I spend a lot of time with my patients teaching them and helping them to understand their MRI scan. Thank you very much.